Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are going to be bringing you the OtterBox cases for the iPhone XS Max. Now we have some new ones that I haven't seen before here or haven't seen in a long time. So I'm very curious to check them all out. We'll start with this side going on to the Defender, which always takes me a little bit of time. So let's get to it. All right, so this is the Statement series, which I've never reviewed before. So I'm very curious to see how this one looks. I know OtterBox has all these different ones. I'm a big fan of the Marvel and Star Wars ones. Hopefully we'll get some of those soon. And really, this one is an interesting one. So it's like a clear case. It looks thicker. Like I feel like this is about the same thickness as a commuter more than a symmetry. But let's go ahead and test it on there and see how it looks. There we go. And yeah, so this is how it looks. Very, very soft material, like a cloth here. Uh, reminds me of like a surface. So yeah, really nice the way it feels. See that OtterBox branding on there. Let's see the front. Yeah, so you have good protection on the front. Definitely good protection on the side. You can see how thick these are. So really good protections on the side. Buttons feel good. Nice separation. Enough room to get to your switch. And yeah, good opening for the lightning port. Overall, nice looking one. Fingerprints don't show too much, which is good. Nice clear case with a different kind of feel to it. That, it just, it feels so soft when you're like holding it in your hand. It just, it feels really premium. So that is the Statement series. And there we have the Symmetry. So this is just a really good, strong case. If you want a nice thinner profile case from OtterBox, this is gonna be the best one to go with with the Symmetry style. Really nice hard shell, so you know you have good protection and really good protection uh, in front, so you know that it will hit the lip and the chin very easily, uh, so you won't have to damage your phone. Button presses feel really solid on this one. Yep, this one is probably one of my favorites just because I love how thin the profile is while still having really good protection on here, so I like this style. Let's go to the Strata Folio. This is always a premium style case. Uh, I remember when they first debuted this at CES and it was really nice. So let's go ahead and put it on. And here you go. So yeah, I remember when they first debuted this at CES and it was just a really nice different style because OtterBox at the time was, you know, just known for a Defender commuter and they were coming out with the symmetry. So it was really nice different uh, style and this still feels really good. They actually use real leather, so it's not like pleather and all this other kind of stuff, which is hard to find, to be quite honest, in the cases nowadays. So really nice, good magnetic clothes. So I do like that. You have one wallet compartment right here. Buttons feel good. And yeah, this is just, if you want a folio case, but you don't want it to know it's gonna break. I feel like with a lot of folio cases, like the Samsung one, for instance, or uh, certain other folio cases that are made for iPhone, you're really just gonna always have not good protection. With this one, it's a solid protection all the way around. Even this is pretty thick, so I would feel better about it dropping face down compared to normal. Let's go to the commuter and see how it feels. And here is the commuter case, classic commuter case. I don't think there's anything you could really say. If you've ever had an OtterBox commuter case, you know how it feels. You know, it feels really durable. I would recommend this for anyone that does drop their phone. It's really just the main one to go with, I would say. Great button feel, great grip to it. Uh, does add weight, but overall just a solid device and it covers up your lightning connection so you won't get dust or anything like that in there. So nice overall for that and the standard classic commuter case. All right, now we're gonna get to the Defender case. This will take me a second as Defenders are a little bit more troublesome to get on, I would say, but you only do it once because once you have it on there, you're protected pretty much for a long time. So let's go ahead and check it out.
Okay, the fender is on there. This is actually a, pl a plastic screen protector on here, which I thought was kind of interesting. So overall, this is the big one, the Defender. I mean, if it falls face flat, doesn't really matter because this is going to protect the heck out of it. Uh, overall, great feel again, great rubber, very uh, heavy, obviously, compared to most cases because this is going to save you. I always say if you're a construction worker, if you drop your phone all the time, like once a week, this is the one to go with, of course. Plus you have the little clip. I think the Defender series will always have its die hard fandom uh, just because you know if you need it and it's always there. So yeah, that is going to be all of the different cases. Let me know which one you would get in the comment section down below. All the links will be down there as well. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.